Yo, yo, YouTube. This is Chad here coming to you from Honeycomb Fingerboards. Coming at you guys with a little update video. I know it's been a while since I've made one, about like a week or so, week and a half, but I'm back, guys, and I'm gonna be throwing this deck in the mold. It is dark outside, so I'm not really gonna have any time to sand any decks, and I kinda need sunlight to be able to do that, so that's gonna be in another video, but I at least wanted to get a little bit productive today and at least do something, so I'm gonna be heading out to the garage and throwing this deck in the mold. Check out this deck. Ooh, that's one of the decks from the five that we just finished, and it is sexy. Oh man, this deck is definitely one of my favorites. That is for sure. But yeah, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to the garage and get this in the mold. All right. So what's up, guys? Back in the garage. Feels good to be home, <laughs> but went ahead and took the mold out of the press so that we can get some holes drilled in that and then get that deck in the mold. But after I get all that done, I also have been wanting to put this guy up, so I figured I would go ahead and do it now. This came with my big mini that I got a long time ago, and I've never put it up or used it on anything, so. I figured now would be the time. I'm trying to get my garage kind of set up here a little bit, so I figured what better place to put this than out in the garage so then I can have some sections while making on decks. So, but first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the holes drilled. So there we go guys, got our holes all tapped in. So that'll start its own pile off to the side. And then gonna go ahead and start working on our deck for today, which is gonna be a silver maple, dark blue maple, and then silver on top. So gonna go ahead and lay down some glue and then get this guy in the mold. All right, so as I'm laying down the glue on this last little ply, just wanted to mention that it is 69% humidity right now. Someone mentioned on my Instagram page concerning like the press that I use and stuff like that and saying that the press would lose pressure after 24 hours. Honestly, I've never experienced that, but it wouldn't even matter anyways because this glue that I use, it says right here, clamp pieces together for one to four hours depending on moisture content temperature and humidity so it's nice and hot here in Florida and nice and humid so this glue is gonna cure rock hard you know in less than four hours so this press no issues whatsoever and if anything my decks are gonna be a lot harder than anybody else's just because of where I'm molding them here in Florida so Gonna go ahead and throw this guy in the mold and in the press and get it squeezed in. And then we can start working on the uh, the BRR big mini side extension, so. All right, so here we go guys. Got our deck in the mold. Just looking squared up, so I might go ahead and squeeze her up in the press. So there we go guys, deck is in the mold and in the press, she's looking good, so now I get to finally put up my BRR big mini side extension, what up? So I think a good spot is going to be right about here, just kind of keep it out of the way of my sanding area, keep it about chest high because of course that's perfect fingerboard height. So I got this kind of 3M double-sided tape that's like outdoor, you know, it's 
supposed to be really strong stuff, so I figured that would be good enough to hold this thing up. And I mean, if it falls, then whatever, we'll resort to screws then, but I figured that way we could kind of keep this side of the garage kind of intact a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some pieces, put it down on the, where it should go, and then get it leveled up and put up on the wall. Alright, so there we go guys, I figured that this would probably be a good spot to put it, it's nice and high and good enough to get some tricks on, so I got my level on, it looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark on here, just so after I put the 3 on tape on, I can kind of measure it back up there without using the level, so looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the strips and put it on there. Alright, so here we go guys, got the double sided tape put on there, and I honestly don't think we're going to have any problems with this stuff, I mean, peeling the backing off alone was difficult, so I think once this thing is on there, it's on there, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to line this up without sticking it in the wrong fucking spot. Get it. <laughs> Fuck yeah guys, this thing is perfect. Super just comfortable height, so I think that's gonna be it for this video though guys. And thank you guys for tuning in once again. And as always, like comment, rate, subscribe, but until next time, later y'all.